Welcome to the EEPROM 9. So, this is more of a test video, uh, so I want you guys to comment on what you think of the video and audio quality. Because we are playing with um, camera tech. And we are playing with phones, and so what would be a good test video but to test some sodium vapour low pressure lamps, of course! That you can actually see the sodium metal inside. You can kind of see it. There we go. So, so yeah, we're going proper big Clive style. And yes, sodium, we're talking about the uh, metal, alkali metal. That is very explosive when it when it's exposed to air. So we don't actually want to smash these open. These are Philips tubes. They're made in the UK. 26 watt. I currently don't have proper ballasts for them, so I can't actually drive them properly at the moment. But I can give you a demo of them working, kind of. Using a CFL inverter. So. We've already uh, done the pre-wiring up. Hey, look, the water's sort of slowly evaporating out of that. We'll put it to one side and it can evaporate over there by the oscilloscope. Maybe we'll grow tadpoles in it one day. So we pop that on. We'll grab one of our bulbs. So we'll use this one, which is quite big and doesn't really fit on the camera. I'm curious to see what you guys will think of this. We'll put the bulb in a position where you can see the end elements because that's where most of the action happens. And hopefully this um, CFL inverter will not fall on my leg and uh, give me a ting, give me a rather unpleasant tingle. But you never know. So we shall switch it on, and the whole tube lights up. But oh god, the, the CFL inverter is trying to fall on my leg. So we'll turn off these lights. Trouble is we've got the outside lighting which doesn't help. And you can see the neon glow. And I can just about make out with my eyes. Oh, hang on, there is one light we can turn off. Um, how do I turn it off with the camera on? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So yeah. But we might be able to... Yeah, okay, so yeah. So, yeah, we. I know one way we can turn it off. Boom. But it doesn't make much difference. Oh, that's actually quite hot. So, we will turn that one off and we will swap over to the other bulb. <coughs> got the burps. I just ate a pack of biscuits. So. Yeah, I've got the biscuit burps. There's also another reason you don't want to crack these open. These getters use uh, beryllium oxide in them. They're a beryllium oxide getter, so... Yeah, you don't want to be uh, breathing that shit in. That's like, basically, you might as well be breathing in asbestos. Beryllium is like one of those really nasty metals that you don't want to. So yeah, you don't, you don't want to be like playing cricket with these or something. That's not going to end well for you or the tube. But, as you can see... You could actually see, I saw it on the camera there, you can kind of see the uh, purple argon glow. When you turn the voltage up enough on the uh, CFL inverter, you get the uh, argon go across. When Before it strikes, you'll just get the red neon, because they use uh, neon as a substrate to sort of start. But yeah, both of the tubes still work, and this is my test video just showing off something interesting that may or may not uh, appear in later videos as and when I play with them some more. But thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. I just discovered something really good. I can pause the video, which means I don't have to edit. <laughs>